But Harry, wouldn't you agree that the majority of people choose not to think? That they just pass through these lives? Well, you know, it's not as simple as that. Uh, No, I wouldn't agree with that, but I feel that way a lot. That it's not simple. Here's the truth. People will think a lot about more concrete subjects. Right. So there's a lot of thought going on in business, a lot of thought going on in computer programming, a lot of thought going on even in the arts. But when you ask them to do more abstract thinking, and it, not even philosophy, theoretical physics. Right. You know, how many people give any thought, that, not that they should or have to, but if they tried, they would lose interest, they would not be able to do it, they're not versed. When you get up to philosophy, which is more abstract than physics, yeah. the number of people who will venture into that realm and do independent hard thinking is minuscule. So they conform. They take... It would be one thing if they said, I don't know about philosophy and I don't have any philosophical views, but it's impossible. You have to have a philosophical view. Are you here talking about ideas or are you kneeling in some mosque praying to Allah? Exactly. You can't escape it. Everyone has a philosophy. So they, the ones who don't judge for themselves go along with what they're taught, don't even realize they're going along. So that was one of her big themes, that everyone has an implicit philosophy that guides their lives. Their only, the only issue they must face is have they checked it? Have they thought about it? Right. They don't have to be original philosophers, but they should be able to judge the ideas they are hearing and see if they make sense. 